Hey everybody, hey everybody, this is Ru- No, but do you want to be on there? Ha! Alright Logan, this is not a still picture, this is a video, you understand that, right? Yeah. So you can't do like a pose like- <laughs> Yeah, you can't do that. It doesn't work that way. Uh -huh. We just gotta intro the video, we just gotta kinda tell people- I don't know. Like, well, Alright, then tell them what's going on in this episode, go ahead, why am I even here? I don't know what's going on. It's I'm just gonna see- Okay, bye. Hey everybody, this is Ryan from Sailing Freestyle. In today's episode, we're gonna be doing and some Logan. projects. And Logan. Hey everybody, this is Ryan from... Hey everybody, this is Ryan, and you're watching the YouTube channel Sailing Freestyle. And in today's episode, we are going to be... Hey everybody, this is Ryan, and you're watching Sailing Freestyle. And in today's episode, we're gonna be working on projects that have to do with a sewing machine that I picked up at Walmart for 45 bucks. Hey, okay, so me and the fam were at Walmart the other day and we saw this great deal on a brother sewing machine. 45 bucks. Can't go wrong, clearance. It looks like um, when I opened it up, it looked like somebody returned it, but all is in working order. All the parts and pieces were there and it actually works out pretty good. Um, what do you think, Gab? You think it's cool? You did a trick to us. You tied a sock and you told us to put it on. That's right, I did. I practiced on the sock. I threw it on. Um, yeah. um, so yeah, I found a good deal at this at, on this sewing machine. So I decided to start a couple projects. Um, I already made one of these pillows. Um, not too bad for my first job. I mean, if you look close, there might be something ugly. I've got no idea what I'm doing, so um, we're going to go ahead and, and just jump right in here and start trying to make crap. I'm going to make some pillows. I'm going to make new cushions uh, or cushion covers, something like that. Um, and then we can do a bunch of other cool upholstery fabric -y kind of projects. No idea what I'm doing. I was too lazy to research how to actually sew. Just kind of winging it and figuring out things as I go along. So uh, don't beat me up too much, although I'm sure plenty of you will have something to say about my sewing skills down in the comments section below. Um, but yeah, let's bang out another one of these pillows. So the sewing machine comes with, I guess, 199 different stitch patterns. Um, I messed around with a few of them before. Some of them are really beefy and super strong. For making a little pillow cover, uh, we're just going to stick with one of these simple straight line stitches because um, it's all you really need and it makes life a lot easier for you. Try to get fancy with the other pillow, it's just not worth it. Straight line stitch is all you need. I already made a rookie mistake. Uh, I forgot to uh, reinforce the beginning of the stitch so that beginning can come loose. So I just gotta go back and throw a couple more stitches in there and that seam will be done. So basically what I did is kind of check out some other pillows I had lying around to see how they kind of finish them off. And I found out the trick is to, on your last scene, kind of leave a gap. And um, when you turn this thing inside out, that's where you're going to kind of crumple up and stuff your pillow into that. And then you have like one small part of the seam that um, is kind of exposed when it's all flipped inside out and sewn up for good. So um, I left the gap right here that I'm not going to sew, and then we'll flip it inside out, and then that'll leave us the hole. Fingers 
And there you have it. One nautical themed pillow. Uh, a little bit better than my first one. Um, seam is not as crazy visible. What do you think, Gav? We'll give it the old uh, inspection. Yeah, but just in that one little part. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's going to look really good inside our cabin. Alright, the next thing that I'm going to attempt here, and this is a pretty big attempt for such a noob with a sewing machine, is redoing the uh, cushion cover. Um, now, I was on the fence about whether or not I just wanted to like make a cover to go over the covers, and then that way I would still have you know the old cover that I could put back on there. Or if I want to make a completely new cover by dissecting the existing cover to use the zippers and everything that they have already on there and just making a brand new cover. And I think I'm actually going to wipe that off and just go for it and try to make a brand new cover. So I took the old cover off in this one, the smallest one, flipped it inside out to kind of see what they got going on here. And I mean, it doesn't really look all that difficult as long as I keep my line straight, which I end up looking like I was drunk out of my mind on the sewing machine for the pillows I did. But hey, it's all a learning experience. Um, the only thing I'm not sure is about these zippers. Yeah, you know what? I'm pretty sure I got this. I guess I'll just do what I always do and jump in and just see if I can get it done. Fingers down the side Girl, you look mighty fine Won't you rub your fingers down the side Girl, you look mighty fine Won't you rub your fingers down the side Girl, you look mighty fine Won't you rub your I've done basically three sides and some other kinds of seams. Um, not terrible, not bad for a noob. Can't really tell. So yeah, if you're looking at it like a, um, all right, what do we got going? So basically, I got your top up here. I got one side here, one side here, and then this side, and then I even got like the two ends before the zipper goes in. Um, so make it progress. Um, it's a little sketchy at times, but I'm just gonna keep on one step at a time, seeing if I can kind of figure out the next step. I cut the backing off the old cushion and I was able to sew that to the new fabric. Um, it didn't come out perfect at all, but I mean, I think for a noob, I did a pretty good job. You know, one thing I did a little bit differently that I'm not sure I would do again uh, is I kind of made a seam here at the corners, which is probably unnecessary. You could use one strip to go the whole way around, although I am not sure. I would have enough of the fabric to be able to pull that off. Um, but anyways, I think it would be easier if I had done just one strip, um, if possible. So I might try that on the next one. I might not. I'm unsure. Because I'm unsure about how much fabric I have to really work with. Because I still got to do the other two big cushions too. And I might have just enough to cover the tops of those. <clears throat> Uh, decisions, I don't know. I guess we'll just keep on piecing together. But for the first cushion, I think, you know, damn good job, you know? It's a little wrinkly, it's a little wobbly, but I'm a noob, I'm a sewing noob, okay? Gotta give me a little leeway for being a noob.
All right, last night um, I got the bottom part of the cushion finished up and I threw it in here real quick just to see what it all looks like and I think it looks amazing. Um, definitely way better than the original fabric we had on there. Look at the lapel looks pretty nice on there with it. Um, again, lots of mistakes when you uh, get up close and you kind of check things out uh, with a magnifying glass. Maybe not even with a magnifying glass, but if you just kind of like start looking at all the seams, you'll see that I'm a wicked rookie. But hey, from a distance, it looks A-OK -okay to me. Um, what do you guys think? Alright, today is uh, another day where we have a nor'easter here in Massachusetts. Really lovely. Uh, we just had another one last week uh, out east by the coast. It was terrible. Freaking winds are crazy. Um, there was actually a lot of boats that got damaged. Um, so yeah, that was kind of crappy. I'm not sure this one's going to be that bad as far as wind goes. But um, it's definitely a day where... I'm going to stay in my pajamas, snowed in, and get the rest of that sewing done. Um, yeah, let's go do it. Here we go. What do you think, guys? Um, cushions are back in the boat with the new covering on. You got your little pillows there. I think it came out pretty nice. I mean, again, I'm no pro. You can, there's, if you get up close and you look, you can see um, all my little mistakes and crooked lines and that kind of thing. But I mean, hey, I think it's an improvement over the last one. Um, yeah, really happy with the way that came out. Really starting to look like a, a new boat. Um, and it's really looking to be like, it's, you know, personalized and customized, and that's really what I like to see. So the last thing we want to do is um, maybe make some window treatments. Yeah, that's right. I've watched a few episodes of Fixer Upper. Um, I know the terminology, ship lap. Uh, but anyways, we're going to maybe make some like little curtains for the portholes um because that should be easy enough if i can conquer the um cushion covers i can make myself some little curtains for sure so um let's get that done
Alright, before we call this episode over, I am going to do one more, um, project. Um, with the sewing machine. Over there. Right there. Um, so, one of my subscribers was kind enough to, uh, post a link of a video that they made. Um, with instructions on how to make a, uh, like a duffel bag to store <coughs> all your lines and stuff in. Um, which I thought was really cool, so I went over there and checked it out. Looked simple enough, so I, I gave it a shot actually, and I made this bag here. I used a bunch of the scraps from the um, seat cushions that we tore apart. So, this is the old seat cushions, and I kind of followed his instructions and um, made this duffel bag here. Um, came out pretty good, I think. Um, didn't come out perfect, but and it's also, like I said, scrap material. Um, from old cushions, and I even I had this line around the garage, and I made the handles with it. Um, so I threw all my line in there, and that kind of stuff. Um, it is too, it's big though. I don't like how big it came out. Um, so long story short, um, between then and now, I ended up purchasing new running rigging, which is all right here. Um, everything except for uh, this, which is the mass raising system. Um, <coughs> only running rigging. So now I've got this nice pile of beautiful brand new spanking rope, and I was all like, man, there's no way I want to throw all that pretty brand new spanking line into that old nasty bag that I made. So I actually wanted to take the time and um, use some better material and make another bag that's a little bit smaller and a little bit more um, custom measured, so it's going to fit this in there um, pretty exact. Um going to use this. This was left over from the cushion project. That's pretty much the most fabric I have. Um, might not be the best double bag material, but it will do the job, I think, um, as long as you don't abuse it too much. Um, and the other thing is I used the one zipper that I had on that bag, so now I'm going to try to harvest the zipper from this old uh, photography vest um, that was left up in the attic and was chewed apart by mice. So this, yeah, you can see that hole right here. So yeah, this vest is useless to me at this point. Um, so I definitely want to grab the zipper from this. And then when I was looking at it, and I, I was kind of like um, noticing, uh, you know, these pockets could be useful too. So I might try to harvest some pockets. And there's even like these little D-ring things here. Um, and yeah, I might try to grab a few things and tie that into the bag as well. So you have um, other little storage compartments to go along with it. Um, so that's what I'm going to try to do. Um, having a hard time coming up with new ways to, to make sitting on the sewing machine <coughs> very interesting. So um, I figured maybe, um, I don't know, I'll try with this next project. I'm going to make it one shot, maybe like a head down shot and you can kind of see the whole project unfold all at once. I'll speed it up some, I'll slow it down some, and um, maybe this one last little segment can be somewhat interesting. So the same thing you've been watching all episode. So I don't know. That's my spiel. Spiel, schmiel, 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 schmiel. That's my spiel about this next project. So let's get let's get to work.
here we have it. Uh, the finished product. I think it came out pretty good. So we got like a little shoulder strap action. We got some hand strap action. There's like a button action. Pockets on this side. Pockets on this side. I threw a couple of um, the swivel blocks in there that I got off of eBay for 20 bucks. Um, a pair of them. I'll show you just because it's like show and tell mode right now. There's the other one. That's a nicer looking one. I got this to replace the um, Jim Halyard on the mask because the sheet was cracked. So 20 bucks on eBay. Now I got two of them. Um, so yeah, you can throw in those pockets and there's more pockets on the side that we harvested. Harv is that the real word? I don't know. We took from an old photography vest. Can I unzip this one hand? I can't. I can't unzip with one hand. There we go. It's going. It's unzipping. Oh my gosh. Here. There we go. And there you have it. All my uh, running, rigging, and lines and stuff are in there. Came out a little bit big. I probably would have made it smaller, the sides, a smaller diameter, but I had to fit the pockets on there so that kind of determined the size around of the bag. Um, but hey, yeah, it does the trick. Carries your lines around, right? So yeah, I think it came out good. I am pretty happy with it. And now I got a nice bag. Let's zip it back up. Can I, I haven't even tried to button this yet. There we go. Yeah. So, there you go. It serves the purpose. Now I can throw all my lines and other crap in here. And it's all in one nifty spot. All right. So I think that's going to do it. We'll just wrap the video up right here. Actually, you know what? I lied to you. We're not going to wrap the video up right here because I'm going to tell you about the new running rigging that's in the bag. So let's open that bag back up. All right. So, um... I already told you about the uh, swivel blocks here. Got one to replace the um, jib halyard block that's on the mast. Uh, she was cracked. Got a new one off of eBay. I would have paid 20 bucks for one, but hey, I got a pair of them. And they're even Schaefer's, so score there. Um, now I got an extra one to do something with. So that's those. But um, running weight. So anyways, um, West Marine advertised very heavily on the um, internets about a big old sale that they were having for running rigging 40% off or something like that. So I hopped on there and um, the first thing I saw their big splash page of their um, advertisement, their big advertisement for their sale, I noticed that they wanted like 80 bucks for um, some vendors and I was like, hey, that's not very cheap for on sale. I mean, they were buy one get one free, but even buy one get one free at 80 bucks is like 40 bucks or something like that per vendor. Um, and that's not a very good deal if you ask me we can get them at walmart for 10 bucks um so i decided to research a little bit the price of their 40 percent off running rigging and i realized that even at 40 percent off their stuff was still more expensive than just regular old amazon this is new england ropes um stay set sta set whatever you pronounce it it's probably stay set um same exact stuff from west marine and it ended up being even cheaper per foot than their 40% off price. Um, and I got this on Amazon. If you go to Amazon, uh, you can search for New England Ropes. Um, actually, you know what? I'll leave links for all of the um, different kind of stuff I got. It's all 3 8 with some exceptions. Um, I got some 5 16 in there. Um, but yeah, really good stuff uh, at a really good price, right on Amazon. Can't get any better. And it comes directly, I think, from... No, it doesn't come directly from New England Ropes. It is a third party... Um, marine store but still rope is rope it's the same brand rope um doesn't matter where it's coming from anyways i'm getting long-winded here 
So what do we got here? We got brand spanking new. This will be your jib halyard. Now the halyards I made white with colored flex. So we got the red flex for the jib halyard, which means the jib sheets are going to be solid red jib sheets. So those kind of pair together. Uh, the black one is going to be a dagger board replacement line. And then we got white with green flex for the main halyard, which means the green with white flex is going to be your main sheet. Uh, again, all rigged up, ready to go here with the blocks all set on them. Um, so it's all ready to go. Um, then that's going to be your Cunningham, little quarter inch line, Cunningham, uh, white line. Then this is still the same old orange line that they had last year for the master raising system. So that's not new. Um, blue is going to be the boom bang. So we got the blue, solid blue for the boom bang. And then we got another, um, this is actually their, um, is it the X something? I don't know. This is kind of like an upgraded one from New England Ropes. But um, that is going to be the reefing line. Um, so kind of two similar colors between the Cunningham and the reefing line. Um, however, they're on opposite sides. One's port, one's starboard. <coughs> so it's not like you're going to get them confused. Um, but oh yeah, brand making new stuff. Doesn't get any better. So again, Amazon comes through with the better deal. So I will leave links in the description um, for anybody who's in the market for some new running rigging. Check them out. Um, click the links in the description below. And it all works out because I make a little bit of the income from anybody who clicks links in any of my videos. So keep that up. Um, and thank you to everybody who has done that. Because, um, hey, it all helps the greater good. So yeah. Good deal on some running rigging. Very happy. Can't wait to get out there and um, rig the boat up again for the first time and get it all in there and see what that looks like. Also, another good deal on eBay for some new stuff. If you guys are going to get neat stuff for your boats, I mean, I hate to say this, but all the hurricanes that happened last season destroyed a lot of boats. The good thing about that is all these boats that got totaled are getting parted out and all their pieces end up on eBay and you can get some good deals instead of paying $80 a piece for one block. I mean, I paid 20 bucks for two of them. So it's $10. You really can't, uh, can't beat that even, even used prices, but all right, we'll call that the end of the video. Again, happy with the bag came out. Thank you. Um, to the uh, subscriber who posted the link that showed me how to make these bags. And I think that's going to do it. All right, guys, like subscribe, share, Become a patron. Love you guys. See you next time. Next time we're going to be working on the galley. It's going to be a good one, right? Um, all right, bye.